going to have we're going to have Jeff Johnson come up. So those of you that had those credit repair questions, Get it. How y'all doing? Hey, good. Hey. How's everybody else? <laughs> All right. All right. Um, everybody got a pen or a phone, something to write with? I'm about to give y'all $250,000 worth of game right now. $250,000. $250,000 at least. Maybe maybe a million. $250,000 worth of game, all right? All right. So let me see your pens, all right? Let me see your smile. Let me see your teeth. If you don't have teeth, show me where they used to be. All right? All right. Good stuff. So let's go ahead and get to it. So. Uh, what is credit? Credit is just the ability to pay bills on time, over time. All right? Credit is the ability to pay bills on time, over time. I'm going to say it one more time. Credit is the ability to pay bills on time, over time. Over time. On time. Over time. <laughs> See, I do this with my third graders as well as so elementary, so they know how to get an 800 credit score. All right? They're, they're already coaching their parents to add them on as authorized users on their credit cards. Oh, really? All right? So, and I, but, but I bribed them with candy. I didn't bring my candy. Actually, it's in the trunk. All right, but I have candy for them. Uh, so, yeah, it's just your ability to pay bills on time, over time. Credit affects everything. You say, well, I pay cash for everything. No, you don't. You're paying credit for everything still. How? If you look on that dollar, it says Federal Reserve Note. What is a note? That's a line of what? Credit. credit. Everything's credit. You're already in the game. It's either you get played by the game or you know how to, how to play the game. Right? It's either you're in control or you're being controlled. Who would like to be controlled? Who you like to be controlled? No. Who would like to have control? Have control. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Have control. Right. control. I'm going to show you guys how to get some buckets. All right? Let's, let's win. All right? So you got to know the rules of the game to be able to play it. This credit is just a game. Right? The legal system is a game. Insurance. All of it is a game. Right? We just haven't been taught. But we got... Like Kevin Hart said, y'all gonna learn today. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You're gonna learn today. All right, so it's uh so credit. Here's what the thing, here's the thing. Your goal is not really even the score, it's it's the rating. Okay? There's a bunch of different scores. There's a car car score, there's a car insurance score, there's an auto score, right? There's a high ability score for jobs because they're like, hey, you can take you take care of your finances, you can take care of my business, right? And they're all a little bit different, but if your rating is good, you'll be going in the right direction on, on, on all of them, pretty much, right? The rating tells the banks and lenders, like, David, you go see David, right? Because how many of y'all been at the car dealership, and you go in there, and you're sitting across from the finance manager, they're running your credit about 30 times, and he starts going like this. And you've been sitting there for three hours. You know what that means? It means you got bad credit, right? That's what that means, right? Right? It means you're going to have to do some creative financing, which means they're gonna have to run your credit about 10 more times, right? <laughs> to put you in that, that 03 used uh, $250,000 Mercedes, right? <laughs> you know, no, we don't, want to, we don't want to be in that situation, right? You want to push for the rating, the highest rating possible, and the score will follow. It's kind of like losing weight. Like right now, you know, I ate good during the holidays, so I'm back, you know, get, get my workout back on, right? So I can't really pay attention to my weight, but I'm starting to feel some inches, right? So the same thing with the rating. Focus on the rating. Highest rating is an excellent. So write that down. Excellent. And then right next to it, 750 plus. I'll put this in your phone. Save this. I'll put this in your phone, sir. We'll give it to your family. This is very important. Here's why. It's going to save you $250,000 to a million dollars in fees, higher interest rates, higher, uh, you know, get, getting hired or, or promoted for jobs. Does that make sense? Car insurance. Yeah, you say, well, I pay cash for everything. Unless you're riding dirty, you got car insurance, right? That's determined by your credit. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. right, it doesn't make sense, but that's, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the game, right? Play it, right? Does that make sense? Get the best rates. Stop bleeding cash by having less than excellent credit, okay? Um, so excellent 750 plus. Y'all got that? All right, here's the next data point, okay? Zero negatives and five plus active credit accounts. Mm -hmm. Zero negatives, five plus active credit accounts. Zero negatives. Five plus active credit accounts. Zero negatives, and how many? Active credit accounts. Five. All right, take off the bad stuff, put on the good stuff. Take off the bad stuff, put on the good stuff. Take off the bad stuff, put on the good stuff. It's that simple, all right? Zero negatives. You don't want to have one late payment, one collection, one medical bill, one charge up, one bankruptcy. Everything he was just mentioning, foreclosure, eviction, repo. You don't want to have anything that would discourage David from giving you that loan. Right? You don't want David to, to look at you and, you know, he's, he's a nice guy. He's not going 
He's not gonna try to beat you down real bad. He's, he's you know, I can just tell, you know, he's just gonna yeah, just come back to us when you got things worked out. That's what David's gonna say. What that means is you need to get those negatives off your credit report. One way or the other. You can go see Jeff, you can do it on your own, I don't care, right? But get it off. You don't not one late payment, all right? You got a few different options for that. I'm gonna go over how they work. But that's generally when people think credit repair, they're thinking about attacking those negative items. Okay? So you want to have zero negative items. How many? Zero. Not one. All right? Pay your bills on time, but life happens. I get it. Okay? You know, life happens. People get sick. COVID happened. People are laid off, divorced. I get it. All right? But some people just don't pay their bills on time, being irresponsible. All right? All right? I know that's not you guys. All right? But zero negatives. But also, you want to have five or more active credit accounts. All right? Because banks want to see that you can handle credit. Right? David can't predict how well you're going to be at paying a loan back that he gives you if he doesn't see that you have any loans or credit cards. Does five, that make sense? Five, five is the magic number. That's called a thick profile. Five. Right? I talked to a client today. Her name is uh, Felicia. She had zero. Right? So I told her, we're going to have to build out your whole profile. Five or more active credit accounts that are open. Okay? Not stuff you had 20 years ago you're not paying. Okay? Five. Okay. Is there like an optimum combination between loans? Yeah, so I'm going to break that. I'm about to give you that. Great question. So jot this down. This is the next point. At least one active credit card and at least one active loan. At least one active credit card and at least one active loan. This is a formula. This formula will save you $250,000 to $1 million. At least one active credit card, at least one active loan. Here's why. That's called your credit mix part of your score. That is worth 10% of your points. So if you're gunning for a 750, that's 75 points right there, just making sure you have both, at least one at least one of each. Does that make sense? Okay? Can you say it one more time? At least one active credit card, uh -huh. at least one active loan. They gotta see you know how to handle both types of credit. They just wanna know how, how good how, how good you are playing the game. All right, can you, can you work within the system? Does that make sense? You have cash flow. If you got cash flow, you can handle those, right? So that's two, one, one of each. The rest can be either or, but ideally what will happen when you have good, good credit, you'll have about five good credit cards, and then you'll have a mortgage or a loan for your car or your business, whatever, right? And then on each card, what you'll do, pay a bill with each card. So maybe you'll have an American Express, you pay your cell phone with it, then you got your Chase Freedom, and then you pay, you pay, you know, pay your, uh, buy gas with it. You got another card, you, card you, you pay your Netflix with it, right? You're not buying extra stuff you don't ordinarily buy. You're just paying your ordinary expenses. But what will happen is when you have good cards, they give you free stuff. They give you cash back, all right? If y'all text me at 502-356-8708, again, 502-356-8708, I'm going to give you a card, all right? It gives you 2% cash back. So if you spend 100 bucks on gas, you're only spending 98 because it gives you $2 back every time, or groceries, or whatever you're, you're buying. And they pay you. Uh, just to just to just to start using this stuff. So you text me, I'll send it to you. All right, but you'll have. That's where we're going. I'm gonna take the picture. You have to put money down on the card you talk about. It's a credit card, but you gotta have good credit to get that card. All right, when you have good credit, you don't need secure cards. All right, the, the bank says, you know what? I see you're able to handle paying bills one time over time so well. Here's a card. We're gonna put twenty thousand dollars on it, or a thousand dollars, or ten thousand. Use whatever you want. Just pay it back by the due date. All right, that's. See, credit is your adult report card. So the, the third graders, they really love that. So I tell them, go home, ask your parents what their grade is on their adult report card. <laughs> they ask you grades all day, right? You've been acting up in class, your conduct grade. Go ask them their, what's their adult report card grade. They, they ask what it is or they need help, tell them, you know, Mr. Jeff will come help you with it, right? Right? So they see that, they see that you got good grades. They, you got an excellent, a 750 plus, right? They're going to give you more of an unsecured loan. But, there's, but they also give you perks. They give you cash back. Just for spending it on stuff you're gonna buy anyway, like gas or something, right? They give you flights, vacations, hotels, groceries, clothes, you name it. Just for buying stuff you were gonna buy anyway. But you gotta have good credit to get those cards. We didn't even know about that, did we? Mm -hmm. I was told, cut your credit cards out, don't get credit cards, all that stuff, right? No, do not do that. Use it the right way, but get your credit card and then advance to the good cards and get free stuff. Does that make sense? I have a question. Shoot. So I went and got a credit card at Sam's, mm -hmm. and I thought I was going to get the Master or the Visa. They gave me like the, the little regular little thing. Gave me the retail card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they put $1,000 on it. Well, I'm not about to spend $1,000 on You shop there regularly? No, not okay. regularly. But apparently, since I don't use $1,000, 
they they drop it to three fifty. Yeah, they'll do that sometimes. Yeah, I didn't even know that. So I'm going to trying to shop, you know, and I was going to pay it off. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can't. I couldn't. Yeah. So then, since now I don't use the three fifty they gave me, they dropped it to two fifty, and I'm like, why are they doing that? That, but that's good though, because you don't shop there regularly anyway, right? No. Okay, so you don't even need it. It's just a trap. Okay. Now, if you shop there regularly and they're giving you that, and they're going to give you some type of discount or something. Great. Does that make sense? So can I close it without paying it off? Um, the retail card? Yeah. I wouldn't. Because they'll at that point, if they don't retail cards, I stay away from those. All right. Those, if they're not Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discover, and you don't shop at that store regularly, I gotta say it slowly because I got that little thing in my tongue. Regularly. All right, I got it out. All right. If you don't shop there regularly, all right, don't mess with it. Because if it, it doesn't help you build credit, it's not gonna be one of your five accounts. It if you credit. don't pay it and get late. They'll tell on you, and so it'll hurt you when you don't pay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So just kind of stay away from them unless you just love that store and you're spending a whole lot of money there anyway and you need that discount by opening the car. Okay, that's cool, okay? But yeah, you want to have five or more after credit accounts, credit cards and loans, at least one of each. Where we're going with this is you'll have five good cars, like the, the American Express Platinums, all that, right? And then you'll have your mortgage, you'll have your business fund, you'll go see David and he'll hook you up with the loan. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. He'll have your loans, you'll have some good credit cards going, and you'll be floating 750, eight, eight, you know, on the way to 8, 800, 8, 8, 850. Does that make sense? That's where we're going. But in the meantime, you say, well, Jeff, I don't have five accounts. What do I do? All right, so there are what are called credit builder accounts, okay? Now, and if you text me at 502-356-8708, all right? Uh, you, you text me, just text me, uh, just text me your name and then just text wealth. So text your name and text wealth. I'll send you some credit builder accounts. Okay? All they are is just kind of like uh, training wheels for a bike. They're, they're, they're designed to help boost you up until you get going on your own with your credit. Some of them are free and they pay you to set them up. Okay, We have like a rent reporting program um, also that you can use, right? right? Um, you know, there's credit building one. Now he just talked about a secure card. I asked about that because that's a, that's a credit building account. Okay. He's got a great, that's three, 300, you put, so when your credit's not good, you're not gonna get a regular car where they say, here, here's a car with $1,000 on it, because they don't trust you like that. They're like, man, you didn't pay this dude over here for whatever reason, we're not gonna just give you $1,000, but you can show us how good you are now and how you've reformed yourself, and we'll put 300, or you put your own 300 on there, that way if you don't pay it, that's your money and you only hurt yourself, but if you use it and pay it back every month responsibly, Right? We'll report that data to the credit bureaus. We'll tell on you, and we'll say good stuff, and then that will build your score. Because credit card utilization is the second biggest thing that helps your credit. This is why I told y'all to get a pen, take some notes. This is 30% of your score. The biggest thing that hurts your score is having bad stuff. The second biggest thing is credit card utilization. The payment history or the bad stuff affects 35% of your points. So out of a 750, that's 250 points. Credit card utilization affects 30% of your points, so that's about another 225 out of a 750. Does that make sense? All right. I don't talk talk kind of fast, whatever. But I'm just just trying to just trying to make sure y'all understand how important it is. Out of the credit building accounts, the credit card is the most important. Okay. Um, and then you can use the other credit building accounts we have. You know, you know, I don't care what you use. Just make sure you got five. All right. Because you don't want to have a thin profile. Again, banks want to see you can handle multiple accounts. How many plates can you juggle? Right? Are you struggling? I don't know. Or you know, I got this. I got this credit game down. It's like like basketball. We got crossover, right? You know, can you dribble two balls at the same time? Next, age. The longer you've had accounts open, the better. So jot this down. Average age five years or more. Average age five years or more. Average age five years or more. Does that mean I gotta wait five years to get a house or a business loan, Jeff? Nope. The longer the better, though. This is 15% of your points. This is the third biggest thing that impacts your score. All right? So out of a 750, that's over 100 points affected right there. The longer, the better. Usually, for a house, most banks, they want to see at least about a year. Some programs will go as low as six months. Am I right, David? What do you see? Yeah. About a year? Yeah. yeah, usually just to get your foot in the door. But I'm not telling y'all the minimum. I don't, like with my basketball players, I don't, tell them, I, don't, I don't tell them to do the minimum. I make my practices harder than the game. All right? They're ready to puke. Why? Because in the game, all right, when they're playing defense, I want them to make the opponent ready to puke because they didn't practice as hard as we, as we, as we did. Does that make sense? So I'm not having y'all just shoot for the bare minimum. I'm gonna have y'all shoot for the excellent 750 because y'all can get houses and, and approve for lines of credit and credit cards. Maybe you're at a 620, 650, great. Go ahead and get, get your foot in the door, get that house, get that loan. But then keep 
raising your credit to an excellent, and then come back with David and refi and get a better interest rate, you'll save you'll save some money. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Right, right. So the average age, the you know the, the max on that part of your score is five years, but after about a year, average age of all your credit cards and loans, right? You should be able to start getting approved for stuff. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, and then last thing, no more than three credit inquiries or inquiries, depending on what, what, what part of the town you want, right? <laughs> Some people say inquiries, inquiries, no more than three, okay? If you have more than three, all right, it's going to make you look desperate for credit, right? So that's why you don't want to just go to the dealership, have them run your credit 30 times. Go to your bank or your credit union, right? Go see David. Uh, have them, when your credit is good, have them run it once, because your credit is going to be good when you go to the bank or credit union, right? Go have them run it once. They'll give you a check and you go to the dealership and pick out what you want instead of getting all those inquiries and dropping your score. Does that make sense? One inquiry could drop your score, but 30, right? Yeah, you're going to feel it. Does that make sense? All right, so I'm going to repeat the formula one more time and I'm done. Okay? Excellent 750 plus, zero negatives, and five plus active credit accounts. Okay? So excellent 750. And if you text me, I'll, see, I'll text you the whole formula, but I'll repeat it one more time. Excellent 750 plus. Zero negatives and five plus active credit accounts. Credit cards and loans, at least one of each. All right. Oh, I, I, I didn't give y'all this one. This is a big one. Below 7% utilization on your credit cards on your statement date. Below 7% utilization on your credit cards on your statement date. So as you, as you mentioned earlier, pay it off. That's the easiest way to think about it. If you don't pay the whole thing off, just make sure if you don't want your score to drop, make sure by your statement date you don't owe more than 7% of your limit. So if you've got a card with a $1,000 limit, you don't want to owe stock, uh, that, that bank, stock cards, whoever, more than $70 of that 1000 on the statement date because it makes you look like you need that cash and you're desperate and it'll, it'll drop your score. They're analyzing you to see how risky you are to give you some money. They have a lot of different things. I'm giving you the formula to pass, to play the game to win. So on that statement date, just pay it off or below 7%. Average age, next one, average age, five years or more. Average age. And most of that's going to come from credit cards because you don't close credit cards. You can have cards 15, 20 years. The next, no more than three inquiries. Okay? So that's how you structure and set up your good items. Now, for the bad items, right, you can dispute them. With, that's the credit repair process. You can send dispute letters over and over and over again every 30 to 45 days until those items are either removed or those companies do something illegal and then we can get attorneys involved to sue them for violating your consumer rights and they have to pay you some money. Or if it's been, you know, this, I, I tell my clients to give the process at least six months when you're attacking the bad items, right? Um, you know, it could take a year, it could take a month. It depends on how hard that company fights back, okay? I see a lot of medical bills, $2,000 come off in one month. I see PNC Bank fight 13 months over a $60 bill when the person offered to just pay it and they still didn't want to take it off the credit report, okay? So it just depends on how much that company's going to fight back. Does that make sense? That's why you shouldn't go to PCP. Go to see David at Sock Yard, right? right? <laughs> but, um, but, but we'll send those every 30 to 45 days. Or you can do it yourself. If you know what you're doing, you can do it yourself, right? I don't care. Um, but that's the process to attack the bad stuff. You either want to just send dispute letters, make it fall off, because by law, if they can't verify the debt under several dozen guidelines and do it within 45 days with your, and verify with the original a written contract and your signature, by law it has to come off your report when you challenge that item, okay? Or if they, if they don't respond back right, we'll sue them. Or let's just say it's been seven months and then you still got like a $200 collection, everything else bad you had, maybe you had 20 medical bills, 19 came off, you got one left for 200 and it's still on there and it's been nine months and you're disputing everything, you might say, well look, can I, if I just pay this, can I, can I get it removed off my credit, right? If they agree to that in writing, that company agrees to do that in writing, that's called a pay for delete letter. Yeah, you can do that as well to put you at zero negatives. But you want all those negative items removed because all it takes is one to drop you 150 points to 200. Does that make sense? Make sense? So credit is your adult report card. It's your ability to pay bills on time, over time. It's just take off the bad stuff, put on the good stuff, right? Zero negatives, five plus accounts. If you reach out to me, if you have questions, I'll be around. Where do you go? Okay.